Hey YouTube, Carla here. Welcome to the vlog. This is the channel where we talk about sneakers, life, and tech. And for this episode, I'm excited to bring you guys my review of the Nike Kenny 4 Cortez house shoes. <laughs> Now, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel yet, you are missing out. We're doing a lot of giveaways. We're constantly doing giveaways. The latest one being for the Adidas ZX500 RM, a 10,000 peso outlet shopping trip with me, a 3,000 peso sneaker gift certificate over at Carousel, as well as a bunch of limited edition Crep Protect collab sprays with the NBA. So subscribe now, follow me on IG, and don't forget to hit the notification bell as well as the links down below. So this is the Kenny 4 Cortez uh, house shoes. Now, the, as the name implies, this is a sneaker that's meant to lounge around with in ho at your home. In Tagalog, we call it pangtambay sa bahay na sapatos. So you put it on when you go in and this is the, the pair of shoes that you use while you are just walking around the house. Now, ideally, conceptually, you're not supposed to take house shoes out of the house because the house shoes are meant to be used when you are inside your house and you leave your dirty sneakers outside and you don't have to wear them when you're going around the house spreading the germs. Now that is actually a very Asian thing. Uh, when we're in, you see a lot of people are being asked to take off their shoes uh, when they get inside the house or the condo. In the US, in a lot of other markets or countries actually, that's not being practiced because they don't associate shoes or sneakers to uncleanliness. So that's actually very Asian and it's something that I could relate to when I found out about the Nike Kenny Cortez for uh, house shoes. So the concept is pretty cool, but the question is, would you actually pay a little less than 5,000 pesos or $100 for sneakers that you would just wear in the house? Of course not, right? So while that is the main concept of the house shoes vibe or the house shoes philosophy, I think at the end of the day, this pair is still meant to be taken out of the house because even written uh, along in the inside of the shoe says here, Nike Cortez preferably wear with shorts and tall socks. Now, obviously you don't wear that get up while you are at home, you wear that get up when you are out and about. That's talking about the house shoes vibe and philosophy and concept. But one thing that really made me love the shoe was the reimagination and the redesign of the Nike Cortez silhouette. Because if you think about the Cortez, it is classic, it is unchanging, it is the same. And I love the fact that Kendrick Lamar and Nike really went all out to be irreverent and actually, in Tagalog, medyo binastos talaga nila yung Nike Cortez silhouette with this pair. Allow me to go over that. If you take a look at the swoosh logos along the side, here along the lateral side, it's actually colored with that dark blue, almost black colorway. But if you take a look at the other side, it is just stitching with orange and a blank white space that you guys see here. And another part is that if you take a look at the tongue, wherein they have like that giant canvas shield that they sewn into the lacing system here, the orange stripe that stretches along the entire middle of the shoe actually crosses over and covers the Nike logo. So talk about, sorry, I, I have to say this in Tagalog, Talk about talagang binastos nila yung Nike logo, you know? Pero ang kulan talaga ng pagkagawa. In English, I just love the fact that they did that even though it doesn't go, you know, it doesn't follow conventional advertising and design principles that you do something actual like that. But I found it cool, found it reverent, found it refreshing. Now, apart from that, I love the color blocking on the shoe, the white, the grays, the blues, and that added pop of this. I don't know if it's actually meant to lace the shoe or tighten the shoe because I tried pulling it and it doesn't really work. So I think of it more as a design aesthetic than anything else. Also, I love how they did and executed the insole. That's probably the nicest looking, poshest looking insole and looks like the most comfortable insole that you can ever get. It's actually glued into the sneaker. So I've been trying to tear it out so I can show it to you guys, but I don't want to wreck the shoe. So. Yeah, those are the things that actually made me love and appreciate the sneaker even more. It's the design, the daringness, the boldness to reimagine such a classic and iconic silhouette. Apart from that, the concept of being house shoes, tambay shoes was really something that I found so appealing and so interesting because it's something that's relevant uh, for us here in the Philippines and not just actually for LA culture. Now, how is it on feet? It is comfortable and, I, and that, that takes a lot for me to say because I have wide feet and I've never liked the, the Cortez silhouette. 
Why? Because there's still, there's the sneaker is not friendly for people with wide and flat feet. Why? Because if you take a look at the midfoot section, it is very narrow compared to the top of the shoe. So what happens is you get that muffin top or bloated whale effect where in a big chunk of your feet, the side of your feet, just hang out from the side of your sneaker. And I hate the look of that. But yeah, it why despite that, for some reason, this shoe is still comfortable. I, I really don't understand. I mean, it looks like it will not be comfortable and it looks like it's not supposed to work. It's not supposed to be, you know, nice on your feet. But yeah, it is kind of comfortable despite that. So yeah, good points for, for Nike and Kendrick Lamar for the design of this one for people like me with wide and flat feet. What I would recommend for people with wide and flat feet like me is if you can probably consider going either half a size or if you can possibly try to go like a full size up. Again, because this is supposed to be like comfortable slip on sneakers. If you can't get that easy slip on feel, easy slip on vibe with the shoe, then you are missing out with what the experience was meant for for the shoe. So try going half a size up, try experiment going a full size up if you can in the store until you get the perfect fit before you pull the trigger and you buy. Before we end the review, I saw that a lot of the IG accounts that are selling this sneaker are selling it for exorbitantly insane prices. The SRP of this is just a little less than 5,000 pesos guys or uh, around 5,000 pesos. But a lot of IG sellers are selling it for like 8,000, 8,500, 9,000 pesos. My advice, just go on over to StockX. With the shipping fee, you can probably get it for a little less than 7,000 pesos. While it's not ideal, it's not retail, it's the closest thing that you get to retail instead of paying like that insane amount of resale money for this shoe. So yeah, that's actually it for my review. I hope you guys enjoyed. Please do make sure you subscribe to the channel, follow me on IG, hit the notification bell. Oh, and a quick shout out to the guys over at Commonwealth. I copped this from their newly opened store over at Power Plant Mall in Rockwell. You guys have to check out their store. It is amazing. The look, the energy, the vibe, the feel is just something else. So if you are in the area and you haven't seen it yet, make sure that you guys drop by the Commonwealth store over at Power Plant Mall in Rockwell. You will not regret it. Take my word for it. So yeah, guys, that's it for now. Peace. God bless.